When I work on my comics, my first pass of finishing the page usually isn't the final one, the final pass. Part of it is because I'm a very messy artist, uh, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> and the other part is because comics take a long time to make, and I want to push out pages quickly. Um, so I usually put them out before making sure that they're absolutely stunning, beautiful perfection. But eventually, I do want to make those pages, like, super beauty perfect. Um, when, say, we print them or put them into a book and ask people for money for the comic, then I want it to look really nice. But when it goes out for free, I'm like, eh, it can have a few mistakes, that's fine. So, th this idea of how Bones and I work on comics with editing our pages, um, was inspired by the anime industry, or from what I've been told of the anime industry. Apparently it's very common for, um, in the TV release of animated shows, anime shows. Sometimes the art or animation may cut corners in order to hit these really tight deadlines, so you might have a shot that doesn't look as great as some of the other ones. But when that show gets released on Blu-ray, it gets cleaned up, and they turn all the animation that was lacking into, like, really lovely stuff, and they take all the time they need to fix it up and make it beautiful, make it perfect, um, because they have more time to work on it. So Bones and I, like I said, we've adopted this same formula. We call it saving it for the Blu-ray. Like, so in the first pass, I just make my comic pages, like, readable. Like, I don't put out total garbage that isn't finished. Like, I, we have, like, a, a little bit of a standard of some kind for the pages, but if there's little mistakes or maybe a panel composition that isn't, like, my favorite, but it works, we'll put it out. Um, and then when the Blu-ray comes around, basically whenever we print the comic, I clean it up and I make it pretty. Um, so if you're working on your comic pages right now, don't worry about perfection at this very moment. Um, if I were you, I'd focus on making a buffer, so building up a bunch of pages that are already complete so that you're not releasing a page, say, every week, um, and having to scramble every week if, say, stressful stuff comes up and you can't hit your pages, you have a big buffer of pages you can pull from and post. When you're ready to finally post it, after having your buffer all nice, or you're ready to print it, say, maybe you've been posting it already and you're ready to print your book, it's time to make edits. So how do you make these edits? <laughs> um, I'm sure it depends on who you are as an artist, and what you need to focus on. Because, um, for example, I have very, like, messy line work, or I might not fill in all my... Like, say I have, like, a black fill or something on a magpie page, or a color fill here on nine point, I might not fill it in totally accurate and there might be little white spaces. So for me, an edit might be going in and fixing those things. But for someone else, it might be like fixing up their lines or maybe <laughs> making their lines less stiff, something like that. Depends on who you are. Um, but here's kind of a general overview of what I do when I edit my pages. So first, I usually have Bones and I will go through it, and he'll usually pick out pages where it's like there's egregious errors, or say like a composition is clumsy or bad or doesn't work, or throw the pa throws the page off. Maybe there's a panel where I really rush through it and it looks really rough. Um, he'll point that out and we'll circle it as one of the major things that needs edits. Um, and we'll also go through and we'll look at kind of more minor edits where it's like, oh, this little part of her hair needs to be colored in more. Or, um, oh, her shirt was the wrong color in this panel. Whatever it is. So we'll go through and we'll mark down kind of the major egregious stuff and then the small things. And um, we'll write down a big list of all the corrections I need to do. Usually it'll be just naming the pages that need fixes because I can usually look at it and be like, oh yeah, this page definitely needs a fix. And so what I start out by doing is I go through all the really tough stuff um, because that is the most daunting part of editing your pages is, say, redoing a page or redoing a panel. So I usually start there and start making the big corrections and overhauling things. This also gives me lots of time if I need to clean up those major edits even more so that I can come back to them at the end and do little minor touch-ups uh, once I'm happy with my, my second go-through. Uh, so once I've done all the major stuff, I'll go in and I'll start, you know, doing little cleaning things like cleaning up colors or cleaning up like really messy inks, you know, filling in flat colors that I didn't quite fill in correctly, fixing 
color corrections, whatever it is. I'll also do a pass for typography, making sure that there's no typos, you know, making sure my bubbles look nice, making sure I haven't, I don't know, missed a speech bubble or put the wrong dialogue in the wrong speech bubble, anything like that. I go through and I fix that. And I also go through and I might add little bits of like sparkle to pages where I couldn't I didn't have the time to add it before, so maybe I'll have a page that looks kind of plain, like it's not, there's nothing horribly wrong with it, there's nothing major I have to redo, but I might add in a few little details that I I didn't put in before. Like maybe I had a shelf in the background and I, just, I go back and I fill it with things where before it might have just had like a book on it or something. You know, just adding little bits of polish to make it a lot nicer and more uh, detailed, especially because personally I'm an artist who I skim past details. I tend to do like big picture stuff and don't get really deep in there with details. So it's very good for me to take a minute and fix that up and add in little little bits of sparkle or polish or whatever to, to my pages. Now when you're making all these edits, it's really important to start, to not start doing them right away don't edit your pages as soon as you've finished drawing them. You need a little bit of time away so that you can see what the problems are. It also gives you time to kind of not only see what the problems are, but to understand how to fix them. Because often when Bones and I will go through looking at pages, uh, looking at corrections, he might show me a page and I don't know how to fix it. I'm like, yeah, there's something wrong, but I don't know what to do. So it's, it's important to maybe take some time and think about it. And if I've just finished making a page, like, that is not the time to do edits because it's still fresh with me. It's... Like, that's just, like, a recipe for overworking it and making more problems for myself. Um, so I usually at least don't look at it for a few days. Honestly, when we're putting together a book, some of the pages I haven't looked at for months and some of them it's only been, like, a week since I worked on them. But just that distance is really very helpful for having a, a clear mind going into things and helping you with problem solving etc. You'll also improve more as an artist by finishing all of your pages, like, before you start going back and doing edits. Uh, you'll be way better off because anything that, you, like, say you're printing a volume of your comic, um, so let's say it's, like, 100 pages. That's usually what we do for our comics. Anything that you did at the beginning of the volume, uh, the art's not going to be quite as good as the stuff at the very end because you've grown as an artist as you've drawn these hundred pages. So taking the time to finish everything and not jumping right into edits as soon as you finish any given page, um, you can really go back and fix up errors that you couldn't see at the beginning of the volume because you just didn't, you didn't have that knowledge before and now you're seeing you know, mistakes are jumping out at you and stuff. So it's also a very good idea to kind of get all that artist skill and knowledge built up before you go back and start editing things. And finally, I guess, like, don't be afraid to leave things where they are. You don't have to edit your pages. It's totally cool if you're like, this is where they're at. I'm not changing them because you're only one person and it's probably better to just move on to new projects and to move forward with your art instead of getting really stuck on editing and making changes forever because that can be a rabbit hole that you go down and it's really hard to get back out of. So if you like how something looks or it serves its purpose, you don't have to update it or edit it or change it. You do you. It's all up to you. Ooh woo. So there you go. That's, that's editing pages. I, like I said, it's a really important step for me. It might not be super important for a lot of people and you might have to change different things, like make edits to different things than I would, because um, we're all different artists. There's some people who have art that's a lot more clean than mine, who <laughs> probably need to go in and like make it a bit more messy, but I don't know. Depends on who you are as an artist. Ooh, ooh. I also fly through pages when I'm first making them, which is why a lot of errors come up, because I'm doing it at lightning fast speeds. Um, so, yeah, I really rely on edits to help me out. Also, if you've posted your comic and you don't intend to, like, print it, it's totally okay to, like, swap out the JPEG <laughs> at any time if you've made an, a change. And you don't even have to mark if there's an update. I mean, you can if you want people to notice, but if you just go in and fix a few things, don't worry about it. It's your project. You can do what you want with it. Okay, that's all I got. Thanks so much for listening. Um, I can't believe we're almost at the end of this challenge. This is like, what, day 92? 
We're so close. I can taste it. I'm so ready. I mean, I'm still going to do 30 minutes of art every day after this because I've been making lots of progress. But I'm also ready to just not make a video every day for a little bit. That'll be really nice. Heck yeah. Um, but yeah, okay. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. We ate a lot of Korean barbecue. And I'm tired and it's late. Goodbye!